Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So I have actually <laughs> done another rank up. Now this rank up is mainly for Alliance for Defense and uh, so let's just check it out quickly and surely and it is where did he go? Duped Heimdall. I took my Heimdall up to rank 2 as a 6 star champion. Now I had him already duped and that's a good thing and he is a control champion and that means he will benefit from flow defensive tactic which is a quite good reason to take him up and place him on defense because that defensive tactic is an absolute nightmare to deal with. Hopefully he can gain some kills on defense and taking champions to rank 5 or 6 star to rank 2 has been uh, easier and easier as the time goes so it's not too major for an investment additionally uh, one of the Heimdall synergies trigger with OG Tor and I have recently ranked up OG Tor as well so it's kind of uh, a hope of mine that uh, that kind of means I can use this energy a bit more because I can have Heimdall tag along and chip in where he can because uh, obviously he is not the most offensive powerhouse in the game but he has a permanent true strike and that is a really useful ability plus the synergy with OG Tor could be something that I use quite frequently not to mention that the synergy with Angela uh, Hella is uh, one of those things that quite frequently come up as one of extremely useful tools to deal with caustic temper or some other tricky nodes so that being said I think Heimdall can potentially eventually get some sort of niche uses offensively as well hopefully uh, obviously i'm not gonna try and mislead anybody thinking that he's an absolute insane of a champion he's a champion that's all right and that quite frequently manages to find a spot in your questing team due to necessity due to his synergies because he's obviously a synergy machine he by himself uh, can give you the cheat death mechanic, he can give you precision buff, he can give you fury buff, he can give you a small amount of heal every fight. So that's extremely useful ability. And uh, it's also a useful thing to have him ranked if you can afford it, because he might be a champion that you need to pitch in to finish up like a path in a quest or something. All that being said, <laughs> let's just check out exactly how well or poorly he will do against this Winter Soldier. So the plan here is quite simple. I want to get to level 1 and activate it and then I want to drop a heavy attack to lock in that precision buff and as I have done so I will lock in a fury buff and then I will lock in the second fury buff and I think then we're gonna go for two aptitude buffs with level threes. So I have two fury buffs locked in now. His heavy attack kind of locks in your temporary buffs. You can lock in up to five buffs. And his level three has an aptitude buff. So I'm not entirely sure which is the best rotation, but I'll try and go for one precision and two furies and two aptitudes so we can see how it works out so obviously we can immediately see that his damage output is by far not the greatest there are champions at 50 hit mark at rank 2 with 6 stars that could potentially finish the fight already but let's lock in that aptitude and I want to get to another aptitude now Also, what I will want to showcase is his Awakened ability, which basically uh, lets him start the next fight with a chunk of power, and you can see how useful it is. So, he has started doing some more decent damage at this point. He had like some 6k medium crits or 5k medium crits. I think it's 6, depending on how many Furies you have. And I want to get to another level 3 to lock in one more aptitude. With four furies, so yeah, 88 hits, and Winter Soldier is still at 57%. So he will not be the speed farmer, definitely not. We're not gonna use him to farm potions. 
by any means but I'm gonna lock this guy in now and now I can try and be as aggressive as I can dropping level twos and level ones and what have you not level one has a chance to give armor breaks so that is something that would be quite useful so what you can try and do is bait out all the level ones in timely manner Okay, so I got five of these. I'm gonna try and drop a level one whilst they are active. So I get, and unfortunately they do not last that long, but hey, he can uh, interact with the spare mastery quite well. I don't know, man, 133 hits. It's just one of those things. Let, let's try and go for a big level two, I guess. I wonder how his signature ability scales with that precision buff. Okay, 13k and 19. That was decent level 2. I'm going to go a bit further. And let's finish the fight out. So yeah, we can clearly see that he's not the... <laughs> powerhouse of a mad lad but when we go into the next fight there is a useful thing that comes from his awakening ability and you can see there are those persistent charges and basically for each buff that I had active he's gonna be gaining a chunk of power so you're starting a fight and even at sig 20 you can see that I basically get access to true strike in immediately I gained more than a bar of power so that definitely is a really kind of helpful thing for him. If you kind of like get your first thing, first fight out of the way, then every consecutive fight that you will be doing, uh, you're just gonna end up uh, immediately being able to start with a true strike buff, which is super useful. So here I guess I'm not gonna go for any aptitudes. Let's see how this fight works out. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna go for any aptitudes. I'm just gonna smack her with my level twos. So I have one precision, four furies locked in. And I guess the damage is smaller now. Or similar. With that precision buff, the crit rate still isn't that great on Heimdall, though, I must say. It doesn't feel like I'm critting all that often. Oh, that is a nice 28k crit. Can't knock that amount of damage, I guess. Okay, let's go Heimdall, all seeing dude, <laughs> but yeah, so clearly, clearly without doubt, he's not the biggest damage dealer, 150 hits for Realm of Legends opponent, as a rank 2, 6 star, uh, is what it is, but, why not, right, he's decent on defense, he works with flow, and, uh, he can be frequently used with synergies. He obviously does not have to be ranked up uh, because of his synergies, but it's still kind of like a neat thing to have a champion ranked up if he's tagging along anyways, I guess. But uh, yeah, so Heimdall goes to rank two as a six star. We have done that. 
and uh, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> but that will pretty much be it for today's video, I feel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know yeah, what you guys think. Drop a comment if you think it's a cool rank up or if it's a stupid rank up. Let me know as well. And if you want to showcase a rank 2 6 dark handle to somebody, then obviously share the video with them. Uh, all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys soon. See ya.